guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back in my uh, hemlock and oak planner that I use as my everyday, my fitness, wellness planner, as well as my social media planner. And this is last week's spread where I used the washi and some stickers from According to Ali as my overall theme. For this week, the week of July 26th through to August 2nd, I will be using the Dream Seeker sticker book and probably bringing in a couple of washi like these as well. Let's get started. All right, one of the first things that I do want to do is put washi across the top. I really enjoyed doing that last week. So let's find there. This is the washi that I want to use and I think it'll look amazing and fit almost perfectly in this portion here. Now if I can just put it down straight, that's a whole other matter. Yeah, that's beautiful there. Oh, I love that. And then this other one, go on this side. Like fits almost perfectly. There you go. It's not straight, is it? I also don't want to rip it up because I'm afraid of it. Ripping the page. Let's put that one down. Close enough. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Other part of me is also tempted to use this because I don't really put too much stuff under there. And I think layering the two would be so nice just don't know how much of this I do have. So let's, I think I could cut it here. This is my first Simply Gilded washi. I did buy some last week for the first time ever and I'm so excited for my order. Oh, I really do like that together. I'm, I can't remember where I got this from. Somebody sent this to me um, and I'm very, very grateful for whoever did. It's going to go over the page a little bit. Oops. Wow, that was a terrible, terrible rip. Oh, whatever. Perfect. So now I'm going to write in the date. Yes, I remembered. Thank you for pointing out that I wrote June. So I'm going to be very intentional. July 26th. And I can't believe I didn't even notice it until somebody pointed it out in the video. <laughs> I've done that before where somebody has done something in the video and you're yelling at them and, and they obviously can't hear you. Um, but yeah, I'm trying out a new pen this week as well. This is the Pentel Slicky in 0.25, so even finer than my 0.5. This is the finest pen that I think I've ever used, and I wanted to try it in this. Um, because yeah, I just, I want to see if this will work really well. Okay, so here, here on the side... I want to, I would love to use one of these big stickers down the side, but I also know I need all of that sidebar. Part of me is tempted to be able to just go like this and be able to put my sleep and my workouts here. But again, I don't know if that's going to be fully possible. I kind of just want to try it out and see. Hold on. So now that I've removed that, I'm going to put down Dreamer, because that's originally what I wanted there in the first place. But now I realize I didn't put that low enough. Oh, poppers, what's wrong? So put this here. 
okay. That actually doesn't look half bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and I will speed through that. So using my recollections ruler that I got from Michaels, I'm drawing out the graph to measure out my sleep. So I draw in the hours for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the days of the week and take this cute little sleep emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then the bottom portion, I draw out the days of the week and use this cute weightlifting emoji for my workouts and write all of the workouts scheduled for the week. I'm gonna add a little bit of washi down here at the bottom. Or do I wanna add a floral? A teeny tiny floral. Just grabbing this. Thing is, if I put this here, will there be enough room? Oh yeah, perfectly enough room to do that. There we go. And because I love this grid washi so much, I want to put a little bit in the corner, just like this. I don't know why, but I love that. What I'm also going to do is draw a line between where it says 10 o'clock and where I would keep track of my steps and calories. I really like the way that it looked last week, so I'm gonna do that again. Perfect, okay, so now I'm gonna go in and fill in the day today. I'm gonna speed through this because I still struggle to try and plan and talk at the same time with this, but overall I'm really loving the look of this. So I'm gonna go and start on Monday. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and fill out is my work shifts, and I'm actually really excited for this week because it is my last week before I have PTO. And I use this cute little emoji from Paper Bits Co, and I love these ones because they kinda look like me. Uh, and then down at the bottom, I use this chores emoji to write down that I have to meal plan and order groceries. Moving on to Tuesday, we have a little appointment for Robin. So I take this exclamation point from a sampler from Paper Bits Co. to mark the appointment and then an emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. to track work. And then it is garbage day on Wednesday. So we take out the garbages on Tuesday and I find this emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. from a sampler that I got to remind myself to take out the garbage. I say remind myself, but it's Rob that does it. Wednesday, I again use this really cute glasses emoji work for uh, from uh, Paper Bits Co. And then the spray bottle from uh, a shop that I don't remember anymore. So I just fill in Friday or Thursday and Friday and get the matching emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. for work. And then Thursday, we'd normally pick up groceries in the evening. So I take this huge emoji for picking up groceries, super adorable. And then I know that I'm gonna take time on Friday night to do uh, some filming. So I take this, emo well, first I take this box actually from the Dream Seeker sticker book and add the emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. and then write down the videos that I need to film on that day. And I'm really liking using this new pen. It's much finer than what I normally use. And then moving on to Saturday, Robin has horseback riding. So I just take this exclamation point to match with the little box to put in her horseback riding. And then our plans for the day are kind of up in the air, but I do know I do. I have to fold laundry and I'm trying to figure out the best placement for it. Um, so I need to fold laundry and it's always so nice to put it down with an emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I've actually scheduled a virtual wine night with my team. So I take this box and actually cut a little bit off uh, from the Dream St Seeker sticker book and add this wine night emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. For my team, Karina, happy hour. Moving on to Sunday, I always need a Ninja cleaning sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I take, I was gonna use a huge one, but then decided to go with just a smaller one. And I write down the list of cleaning that we have to do that day. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around for that. So then the last thing I am going to do is just add in the 
uh, steps and calories and breakfast, lunches, and dinners. And I'm thinking, what is the best uh, color to use? I'm going to do green and blue. Perfect. Okay, so now I do want to add like a little touch of washi here. So going back into the Dream Seeker sticker book. And I love that I can still use my sticker books that I absolutely love. And in a spread like this, it looks completely different from the way I used to use these sticker books, but I'm glad that I still have the ability to be able to use them, even if it's in a slightly different way. So I'm gonna take this and actually just put it across like this and then take some of this Simply Gilded here and rip it nicely and cover a bit of the D for dinner or the B, D? God, D for dinner, but that's okay don't mind doing that because I'll still have space on both days to be able to write down dinner and then it just adds a little something there and then I think I want to add a little piece of the grid where did I put that on one of the reasons why I have decided to speed through a lot of this is because um, I create a lot a lot of mess when I'm planning, especially when I'm using a lot of the emoji stickers. Um, so it's a little all over the place. And I don't know if that's gonna work out the way I want it to. I'll still have room to write down my dinner. Okay. All right. I actually really love that. It's so fun. It's pretty with the washi and I'm looking at it now and it might be crooked, but I think that's okay. All right, so this is, I say before the pen, I filled in what I know and then anything else that I do fill in, I will uh, go ahead and fill that out. Um, but yeah, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've really enjoyed planning in this way. It's fun, but it's still really, really functional. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I also have an affiliate link for Hemlock and Oak in the description below where you can get 10% off your order of uh, any of their stickers or the actual planner. Thanks again so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.